Hello, welcome to my How to Use Sketchbook Quick Tip series. This is a series where I will show you quick and easy tips that will help you on your journey learning Sketchbook. If you would like a longer, more comprehensive and in-depth look at these same tips, you can follow the link above, which is a longer video of these very same tips. Otherwise, if you don't have a lot of time, these quick tips are for you. Thanks for watching and enjoy! For today's quick tip, we are going to talk about blending modes, layer blend modes more specifically, and how you can use them to add some interest to your painting techniques. So here we go. Blending modes are very cool. I use overlay all the time when I am doing these pencil drawings because I like to first do all my detail in pencil as you see here and then color it without damaging the pencil that is actually sitting on top of all the color and it's actually much faster once you get the painting part. You know the pencil part will take longer but the the painting of it, the color, the adding the color goes very fast. And this is why, because I don't have to worry about the details as much, just the placement of where the color is supposed to go. And that's why I start with those, you know, a dark shade and a light shade of the, um, of the underpainting of your flats. And I quickly erase out what I need and, you know, get those highlights and shadows in there faster and or lighting. The colors, like if I have really um, specific lighting, like blue on one side and, and orange on the other, which I kind of like to do. I'm kind of obsessed with that right now. Uh, turquoise and orange look so cool together. So what it does is it's actually blending that purple and that orange together. It's a peach. And you get these kind of interesting colors in the shadows. As I move this up and down, you can really see it. So I often adjust this so that I like the middle colors, like here on her face. And then I'll go and I'll start erasing out, you know, the brightest areas. And that's why that works pretty slick. It's really fast. So that's a good way to, you know, get your stuff in there. And I really, really love the, um, the blend mode overlay for, for colorizing a black and white picture like that. But I mean, you can get some really interesting reflected light kind of stuff happening in here. So other blend modes, let's, let's talk about those. Let's say, yeah, we turn this to overlay. And then let's say you wanted just uh, a really interesting shape. Let's use a circle. And let's change the color. We'll do something kind of bright. We'll leave it the brush. It does matter which of these brushes you're using when you do these uh, shapes up here and the size of your brush. So let's bring that down. All right, and I'm just going to do a circle. Now again, it doesn't, it does not have a way to, uh, I just did weird things. Okay, it does not have a way to make it a perfect circle that I have been able to find, like a gesture of some kind. So we will just stick it right there. And there it is. Looks like somebody put coffee on here. Now, because it's the one under above it is overlay, it's using what's underneath it to tell the lines, the pencil drawing, what colors to be. I'm gonna turn this down a bit so you can kind of see more. Now let's change the uh, blend modes here and just show you what some of them do. Normal is obvious, darken, it 
completely disappears. It uses what's underneath it. Maybe we should turn that off. So it's going to use that color plus whatever is underneath it to blend them together in a more interesting way. So darken. So it kind of darkens it, but it's not a very dark color to begin with. Multiply, it, it multiplies that color. So it does get a little darker. Color burn. It kind of like burns the color in is the best way I can explain it. Let's let's see what this is if we turn that back to normal. Yeah, so you can't even see it right now because the only thing underneath it is there we go. Is the uh, purple there. So that's color burn, linear burn, lighten. It'll be a lighter version. Screen is very similar. Color dodge. Um, it's kind of making it brighter and desaturating it. So it's almost a white, no matter what color you're using. Linear dodge is just like add, you'll see in other programs. And a lot of times that's what you want for like a really bright highlight effect, like sunlight shining on something. You change that layer to, to the linear dodge and it'll look like it's light. I mean, it'll, it'll seem to have some kind of luminescence behind it. Now you can't tell as much here happens if I darken it and see if we give it a darker background too. Yeah, I mean, as we change this, it shows up a little bit. Again, now back to the reason why you need flats. If you have these other blend modes in your painting, like any, any kind of brush, you know, when you're painting like this, if it doesn't have a flat, it's just going to disappear because whatever's underneath it affects it. And a lot of times you want a nice flat color. Because it uses an alpha, and alpha uses black and white for its data. Uh, using black and white for anything other than overlay kind of messes with it. It doesn't work right. And that's probably the case with all, all uh, programs that have blend modes. All right, let's go back to our ring here. Now my favorite one, it's not glow, although this is very interesting, but it also really saturates the color. So it might be a little bit too much in a lot of cases. And again, it's using the color underneath to tell it, see how it changes. And if we got rid of that purple, it's almost white because it's using the brightness of whatever is underneath. But my favorite is soft glow. And that's the one I use. It also blends really nice. I use that when there is light on somebody's face. Especially this color is perfect for that. Now, if I did not have some kind of solid color behind there, it would change it, and sometimes it would even minimize the effect. That was a how to use Autodesk sketchbook quick tip. Be sure to like and subscribe for more, as I will have more to come. Thanks for watching and stay creative.